Want to know what the best dog food is for your dog? Let's talk about that in today's video. Hi guys, it's Chloe here from Everything Dogs with Chloe. And on this channel, we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy by posting videos just like this one on dog food and anything else to do with your dog. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. Don't forget to check out all the links down below and let's get into the video. Now there are pros and cons to all the different types of dog food. So I'm gonna go through those and tell you what I feed my dogs on and then you can make your decision as well. So the first one is um, dry kibble. So that's like biscuits and things like that. I actually feed Woody, who's just right there, on the dry biscuits. I used to feed Ted on them, but it didn't agree with him. So the cons are, I have written some notes, of uh, kibble is that actually it can make them very bloated. Um, this can supposedly be quite fatal to a dog if you're not careful. Now we used to think it used to bloat Ted, which is why he didn't eat it very much because he felt uncomfortable with eating it because it hurt his stomach. Um, however, do be aware, most dogs will never bloat from eating kibble. Um, they are more likely to contain preservatives because obviously they're biscuits. They're in a box for a very long time or in a bag or something like that. So they have to have a very long shelf life. Um, so potentially they could contain a lot of preservatives. Also, you need to be careful of um, looking at the ingredients of like sugar content and salt content and things like that as well. Because there are some brands out there that are in your local supermarkets which don't have very good ingredients in. So it might be worth checking the ingredients on the back of the boxes. Uh, the pros of kibble is it's simple um, and it's really easy. All you do is scoop it out and put it into a bowl. There's no faffing about. Um, obviously, it doesn't smell horrific as well because it's um, airtight in a container or in a bag or something like that. It's really easy to transport. So if you're um, sending your dog to a friend's whilst you go on holiday, you can just bag it up and that's it. Um, you can also use it for training if you're careful, you can um, separate it out for training. Um, if you want me to do a video on that of how to use your dog food for training, leave a comment in the section down below. Um, also it's really low cost, um, so that is, um, very, that is a bonus. So canned dog food, I've never fed my dog can, canned dog food. Um, the con, cons are it can contribute to weight gain because obviously you can't measure it out as easily. Um, and also it is a greater cost. Um, the pros is it potentially could contain more protein and it's an easy, easier and pa more palatable for the dogs to eat so they may enjoy it more. Um, so raw diet, the cons, um, obviously it can contain harmful bacteria, so um, it can give your dog like sickness and things like that, um, because it like you, you can contain like salmonella and it can contain uh, really harmful pathogens and things like that because obviously you're dealing with raw meat. Um, there's a risk of choking on bones if you buy it with bones. Uh, it's also very time consuming and it takes up a lot of space in your freezer because obviously if you're going to buy meat in bulk, you don't want to be going out to buy meat for a week for your dog food, you probably might want to buy it in a month or you know things like that. Also raw meat is very expensive so that's really something for you to consider there. The pros are it's obviously cleaner teeth. Um, because they're chewing on it and they're gnawing on it. They've not got little biscuits just going to one bit of tooth. They're actually chewing on a big chunk of meat. Um, they potentially can have healthier skin and firmer poo. Um, and also it's better weight management. Um, so they're the pros of um, the uh, raw diet. Now, Ted is on a raw dehydrated diet. I have done a few videos on what raw dehydrated is and the best company to use this for. I'll leave a link down to that down below. Go and watch that if you're interested in this. 
but the pros of uh, sorry the cons of raw dehydrated is it's slightly more expensive than kibble it's not as expensive as raw but it is slightly more expensive than kibble and it does take a while to make up so it comes in a powder form and you've got to add water to it and then your dog's got to wait 15 minutes whilst it expands well sort of expands um whilst it you know settles before you can give it to your dog so we make it up 24 hours before we need to give it Ted so he doesn't have to wait around for his food so those are the cons the pros are it has a long shelf life because obviously it comes in a powder form although when you mix it with water it can only be stored in the fridge for 24 hours so be aware of that um it has made Ted have firmer stools whereas before when he was eating biscuits he had very sloppy poo and um, whereas now they're a lot firmer and a lot better and also the pro against uh, raw dehydrated to raw is that there are no harmful pathogens because when you have dehydrated food or dehydrated dog food it gets rid of all the harmful pathogens so that is a big plus point for me anyway thank you so much for watching and if you are new here please think about subscribing if you enjoyed this video give it a big thing thumbs up and um don't forget to check out all the links down below um for anything that i've mentioned in this video uh, i hope to see you next time thanks for watching guys bye